course, if you caught last video, especially in the end of it, you saw we had a lot of trouble. We blew out the back window, uh, ditches are uneven, and then those little tines chuck a rock and blew that out. We got a lot of fixing to do, and we got to get it done because we got more raking and baling to do today. Um, so I guess I got to start by cleaning up a bunch of glass. We're going to call around, see if someone's got a back window, and try to fix that and get going. <laughs> How's it coming over here? Well, I'm just about ready to see if it turns without all that jazz in there. So if you missed last video, Dad was mowing some ditches with this thing and all of a sudden something got smoky. If you look down here, we got a crack and it wore through. The skid plate is, is gone. gone. And so then it wore into the frame or whatever that is down there. So and then it drained the oil and then it got hot so and we're hoping we didn't ruin something. That's operator error call. Well, good thing I wasn't operating it. Yep. <laughs> So we ran it and it spun. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna go out right away, but first thing we're gonna do is re-weld that bottom, fill it with oil. So we gotta re-weld it so that oil doesn't drain out. So we're gonna do some welding. So Dad called our local deer. They have the window and the seal for that. I tried welding and this stuff is so thin that it just falls right through and I don't have the patience to just do a fill-in job. Oh, that looks bad. So we're gonna cut a big plate and just weld it solid and hope it keeps all the oil in. Cause this is just all one solid piece. You can't just find a replacement part. You'd have to replace the whole thing and that'd be expensive. So we gotta at least try to f patch it cheaply. And at the end of the day, if it don't work, I guess they have to do something more expensive. <laughs> Well, we got that shined up and it actually fits real nice. Just kind of how we measured it up to be. So I need to do a really good job on this. Make sure there's nothing I miss so that oil doesn't leak out. Doesn't look half bad, just hope it's air and water tight. Fun fact, I wore this today so I didn't get burned by the welder. But Dad wore it on the back of his head yesterday so he didn't get pelted with rocks. I'm sure you enjoy that picture. And I'm sure he doesn't. And even if that does hold, it's still a possibility that the stuff in here is messed up to the point where it's going to all be taken apart. Alright, so here's the door latch. We're going to get this glass cleaned out. and uh, When Dad gets back, we'll... Get ready, put that new window in. You know, people will say you gotta torque it right, but someone someone borrowed our torque wrench, didn't return it. I'd like my torque wrench back. I bought that for my dad for Perfect. Christmas. How'd the patch and go? Fine. Pretty good. Where'd you get the metal? From that big plate. We 
got to get underneath the uh, windshield doors. Can you hold it up and I'll get around and move that? Yeah. Now, can we just lean it? I'm sure some of you guys think that's the only way we get a clean window around here. We gotta break it and get a brand new one. Did a lot of fixing this morning. I think it's already one o'clock, yeah. Gotta get some lunch and then it's the last day. We're gonna rake and bale and wouldn't it be a heartbreaker if we went and raked and bailed and blew this brand new window out again? <laughs> it would. There he goes. The song of the day is by R.E.M called what's the frequency Kenny and I got sweat dripping down my neck song of the day or nose not neck probably neck too Not liking the looks of that. We went through a lot of work to be able to make this hay. I don't want to get rained on. Dad says he's just got a little bit left and he'll run and get the baler. It's clearing up a little bit. It's just toying with us. It knows we've had a hard week. Breakdowns and well breakdowns about five of them. We'll get this bailed up. It's only a mile worth of hay. Hopefully make eight or more bales. I don't see any fluid around here, so hopefully it's holding it all in then. Unless it went dry already. And with Dad finishing up the last of the baling, and we got wind in a good direction for some of these fields we got to spray with the grasshopper killer we're gonna to try to do that real quick finish this up look at all of them little do they know they're about to get misted
so. Six bales. Yeah. Plus 13, plus 13, plus 26 on the we first got day. We 52 total. 52, so that's about a breakdown every 10.2 bales. Okay. And that is why we don't like doing road ditches. Somebody told me a long time ago, it's hard gotten hay. And it's even worse now that there's so much gravel in the ditches from the road graders. They take that gravel windrow because they move it from one side to the other all summer and then in the fall they go along and they spread it out over the road. And then in the winter, if it's not spread out, they chuck it into the ditch yeah, so when the, they're moving snow. That windrow got chucked in the ditch in places. We broke two windows. Two windows, two gauge wheel arms, and a... Uh, Partridge in a pear tree. You and, bet. And that mower, right? Messed that up some, but that was that was the one I was worried about the most, and that was uh, not the easy, easiest fix for me. You welded it, so okay. I guess maybe not. But, yeah. Anyway, but don't run with those uh, those uh, things missing underneath. What are they called? Skid plate. Yeah, on your disc mowers. Don't it ain't do good. That. If you lose a skid plate, put it back on. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Love to see you next time. Have a good one. Say hello to my little friend.